Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Awesome Knots with me. It's Slow Wolf. We're gonna go ahead and see if we. Oh, come on! I was gonna say play some clunk, but like, yeah, you know what? It's still doable. It's still doable. In fact, at this point, it's almost like one of those things that we should just do. But um, we're still very vulnerable to certain team makeup, so I'm not sure how I feel about this, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, we're gonna play clunk. I don't think it's a good character necessarily in this lineup, but with the Swiggins around, maybe it works. Uh, there's a high chance that we're going to be going for the ranged build that I like to use on Clunk, just so we've got the ability to clear quickly and keep our team alive. Otherwise, I mean, we'll probably go into, like, a Bite Explode, which is the typical combo. If you can manage to nail it, it works out really well. So we're up against Xenia, Froggy G, and Deadlift. Ah, damn it. Well, okay, so that puts a damper on my point. We can't really do it against Frog very well, and we can't do it against Deadlift at all. Deadlift has shield, so going explode is not a good decision. Um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to go for... Um, let's see, do I want to go for multi host first or frag shells? I think we'll go for frag shells first. But uh, we're going to play this very safe, and we're going to stay back. God of Orbiting T going for lifesteal first, huh? Well, it's going to be a very survivable Xenia. Um... Our trick for this game is to make sure that our team gets the push that it needs. We're going to obviously go in and play Clunk the way he's meant to be played, right? But I have a particular specialty in this game, and it's clearing out lanes. I'm very good at figuring out what lanes, you know, when I can clear out a lane or not. That was a good hit, but the shield stopped it. See what I mean? See what I mean, though? Because of... I'm going to miss that on my own turf, apparently. Oh, come on, Swiggins. Going to wait a second. Perfect. Oh, we got a kill. Good job, Swiggins. All right, so, uh, as I was saying, it's going to be one of those things where I feel like my team's going to need the support on that front more than on the killing front. My team has more than enough ability to kill stuff. It's, uh, it's being able to do everything else stuff that I think it has issues with. We'll have to see how that goes, though. Yeah, boink, thank you for the HP. As soon as you start getting multi holes, by the way, that's going to start, like, vanishing droid waves. Droid waves will just disappear. We'll also get super healed and have, like, a ton of HP at all times once that uh, comes to be the case. One thing I like about Clunk, by the way, is his huge damage numbers. Uh, he has the biggest damage numbers. <laughs> okay, we almost landed some cool stuff there, but it didn't quite work out. I'm going to grab one of these. We don't necessarily need to buy it, so I'll save it for when, uh... Oh, that could have worked if I was just a little closer. It's all fine. Um... But yeah, one of the things that Clunk does that's particularly good is that he has massive damage numbers. All of his damage numbers are quite strong, which means that he's capable of, like... Okay, well, unfortunately, that was a good plan with a rough execution. I would have liked that one. It's the second time that's happened. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. Uh, the Swiggins is probably not meaning to do that at all, but if he is, you know what? Good on him. He's a, he's a skillful last hitter, which probably gets him a lot of good farm, and I can't be upset about that because that means he's on my team, and if he's getting good farm as a Swiggins, you know what, my dude? You do you, dude. Okay, stay back. Don't use the explode yet. Oh, no. He made a huge mistake. That's bad. Boink. If we're going to go down, we're going to go down together. Get the solar bad name. Thank you. No! <laughs> the invisible lift. Uh, okay, so multi-hose. Yes, absolutely. Now we've got the ability to clear for days. So multi-hose allows me to bite multiple targets. Up to two. That's exactly the number of droids that there are in a droid wave. So I'm hoping that this will allow me to, like, right-click, left-click, and then everything dies in a, in a, in a droid wave. That's going to be pretty dope. The next 160 solar we get after that is going to be going towards our having a big fourth missile. Um... Having a big fourth missile does a lot of good for us. I'm mad, by the way. That lunge stopped so much damage from happening. Got some HP out of that. Um, but yeah, that lunge was actually dope as hell. Good job, you. Okay, got all my HP back from that. Is that perfect? And then, boof, it's done. Uh, so we're going to continue to go for this uh, very cheap kind of farmy build at the moment. One other benefit of, the, like, one other benefit of this uh, build... Or, like, the first benefit I think I need to talk about in this case is that it allows us to play very safe. Like, we're able to stay back and do a decent amount of DPS to pretty much everything with it, uh, which is kind of important. Stay back, get the bite off. Or not, not yet. Hold on. It's coming from behind. He's just running around being dead left, huh? Oh, I got something else, maybe? Oh, you're toasted, dude. You're absolutely toasted. You dash in, you die. It's just how it's gonna go. Sorry. If I'm paying half attention, this is going to be a very, very quick death for you, Frogo, if that keeps up. 
So, we're going to bounce upstairs now. We're going to go ahead and put this out. Look at that. We're taking no real damage. Sure, scissors. whoop de doo But, like, we just dealt 200 damage to the Ksenia for her existing. Okay. A little bit of extra damage there. Uh-oh. Keep off my Ayla. And Deadlift is just bouncing around, huh? Get him. <laughs> that was a sweet anchor. Like, we're anchors where anchors are due. That was dope. Alright, so backing off, playing it safe, just chipping away at these droids before they get anywhere close to anything, and then killing them all off at once. Means that we're gonna clear out this wave and do some decent damage. Do I need to be worried about this, Xenia? Yeah, a little. But not too much, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, got that. Now we're looking still very healthy. Deadlift is back. Hello! How's it going, Deadlift? Get out of here. No one likes you. Okay, decent... Explode, minus the fact that it didn't hit anything important. But that bite was dope as hell. That was a 600 damage bite. No one's taking that from me. Good little hit there. That's going to knock a couple of people away from uh, from my uh, lineup here. Okay, I'm actually going to let that live for a second so I can bite both of them. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the way it worked out, but that's okay. So we've got a ton of solar, if you hadn't noticed. And I do mean like an actual ton of it. And it's only gonna get it's only gonna get up there a lot faster as time goes on too. Like it's just it's such a good good build for farm that if you're ever looking for like a situation where it's like I'm not sure if Clunk can get the money he needs, this will do just fine. Well, that might have made a mistake, except for the fact that I missed entirely. So you know what? I'm not sure where the mistake lies. I'm pretty sure it's with me now. All right, so we've got a lot of money. Boink. And we're only getting more as time goes on. Every droid wave that shows up, we manage to get the hits and the, and the hit, you know, kills on the droids. That's going to be great for us, so long as this keeps up. Like, okay, look, you got a droid wave. whoop the freaking do right? Get out of here. Um, we got Smash. You know, I don't really care about the Smash. Lunge is not going to bother me all that much. What's going to bother me in the long run... Not a problem there. Okay. What's going to what's gonna be the problem for me later on is... What an anchor! Okay, I'm waiting for Frog to show up. There he is. Yeah, back off. Ayla, please be alive. And again, we're just going around collecting farm, getting money. I'm going to go ahead and spend this time to actually, you know, leave for a second. There are some things I would like to buy. But again, I'm going to go ahead and get some counterintuitive items first. So now my left click is all maxed out. We've gone for the fat juggernaut peat missile. And we've gone for the damage on every missile, you know, upgrade. It's not what is the consensus good choice. I think that most players would agree that the consensus good choice involves going for the double missile salvo. The one that allows you to do a metric shit ton of burst. The problem with me is that I'm very bad at the whole burst thing. Uh, but with Clunk, I can usually lead targets okay with the missiles. On top of that, this is a very safe build. It pushes from very far away, very easily. It does a lot of decent damage. We're in trouble now. Uh, we're going to back off a little bit. Okay, you know what? Hold on. I'm out. See us. It was fun while it lasted. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Take out these two things. Or just one of them. That's cool too. Um, with this build, the entire point is just survival. And getting to a point where my Ayla can just go around and wreck their face in. It's not hard to do. He actually got the lunge off to do that. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but here I have 500 damage anyway. Um, okay, you see this droid wave? From far away. There we go. The entire droid wave is dead. Oh my god, that almost landed in on beautiful things. Unfortunately, no beautiful things happened. I uh, gotta be careful of this deadlift. Here it comes, here it comes. I can smell him. Never mind, there's a dead droid wave instead. What's going on here? Nothing, okay. That's fair, I guess. There is a Ksenia running around. There's also a deadlift running around. It's actually kind of chaos. <laughs> Where is the Swiggins going, is my question. Yeah, let, let the Ayla have that, that's fine. Okay, that's a dead droid wave. Oh, come on. Make my day. So there's the frog. He just dashed out. It's all good. Bounce upstairs. You think you had a droid wave, but not for much longer, buddy. Oh, you did what? Oh, God. Help, 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 help. Oh, fuck it. I'm dead. It doesn't matter, unfortunately, because shield exists. That sucked. Um, Xenia just rips through people on a general basis, so that felt bad. Uh, we are going to pick up Barrier Magazine. Both ranks of it right away. Hopefully that'll be enough to actually, you know, help on that front. And good job getting the two for two, Swiggins. I am so happy that you exist right now. Uh, you'll notice that our creep kills, uh, which only include, like, a few neutrals, 
are quite high. Like, extremely high. Um, that's because of the build. Like, I would like to just make that abundantly clear. And every time that we've gotten a kill on, like, a normal droid, yeah, the good stuff happens. You best be believing that the good stuff happens. Look at that 263 damage missile. Good damage there. That was a good amount of damage. Perfect. Get this bite off. Get the HP for it. Keep trying to land these uh, missiles maybe a little. Perfect. There we go. That's a 210 damage missile. I'll take it for what it's worth. And then just whip oink. That once was a very healthy blue team. It is now all gone. And the entire point of this is just to provide the cover support that my team needs to be able to get some pushes done. Now with that said, I'm going to get the last hit for that turret. It will go down. It was worth sacrificing the Swiggins for a turret as far as I'm concerned. And we will continue to push up here. Now, this isn't to say that we should continue to push up here rambunctiously. There is a, a slight problem with that and that we're down a teammate. And uh, without the Swiggins, I think that we are lost. He is such an important member of this team that it'd be hard to argue otherwise. Boink, boink, boink. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, you'll notice, this build is working wonders. Like, we're getting a ton of farm. We are getting the money that we need to start getting the bigger upgrades later on down the line. We're also keeping the lanes so clear. Yeah, okay, that thing's dead, isn't it? Oh, please. I did not land that on anyone. That makes me feel very bad. Okay, y'all are not coming near this. Ayla, please, back off. Okay, trying to provide covering fire here, but this deadlift is currently being a nuisance up here instead. And the frog got it. I'm upset. We can't really do anything to the frog until he does something first. That's how frog works. If he goes... Oh, you're toasted. Done. 100% toasted. Unfortunately, so is our Ayla. <laughs> oh, no. This time I get both of them. Thank you very much, Swiggins. But yeah, that's kind of the dichotomy of frog. If he, if he, he chooses when to do stuff, usually... Unless if it's Swiggins, in which case that's why Swiggins is such a good counter. Uh, I'm going to head on home for a second, buddy. Hold on. Uh, we're going to make this even crazier in terms of push. Grab this, grab this, keep going. So now we've got more damage on the bite. A lot of people would say that there are better upgrades on bite. And I would agree. In fact, there's probably a million different better upgrades, including snare bite. However, we're going to go for a slightly different build. Instead of going for... Um, Universal Charger and stuff. I'm going to go for more of a debuff heavy kind of build on uh, the Explode. So it's it's more persistent. What do I mean by more persistent? Well, the slow upgrade on, uh, on Explode works very well against characters like Frog. Ooh, that actually works. What a time. It works very well against characters like Frog, who, like, their dash distance is slowed down. By, um, by, you know, movement reduction kind of things. It's just what happens, you know? You're dashing around, you're having a good time, and then all of a sudden, bam, there's a slow explode on your face. And then you can't dash anywhere, so you try and then you die instead. Uh, which is upsetting and sad, I'm sure, for your friends and family, but, you know, to the enemy team, that's exactly what they're looking to do, so don't let them do it. Perfect, okay, I've got another bunch of solars starting to burn a hole in my pocket, and we've got 80 droid kills. Like, you see how this build works yet? It gets the kill so frequently. Okay, that dealt no damage, because shield exists. That's unfortunate. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and start chipping away at this. Oh god. I missed. That's bad. Okay, I'm going to grab this, though. And you know what? Yeah, let's just keep pushing. I could have been the invisible clunk with the invisible explode, but you might have noticed that we don't have any explode damage yet. Which is a crime and a travesty as far as any other good clunk player is concerned. Which is true. Like, a good clunk player would be able to go explode clunk in this matchup and have it still work. Still got a kill there. Alright, backing off. Keeping it safe. So, since we're not going for explode damage, it's more important for us to have this slow, so let's grab the slow and see what happens. Uh, the other thing that we can do is just have more damage and hard hat, really. With hard hat, we'll be able to actually, you know, not take as much dumb damage, which would allow us to stay alive longer, um, which would allow us to apply that debuff longer, and you see how this goes. This is more of a... Oh, Jesus Christ. I want to survive. No explode needed. I should have not bit that at all. Um... Sorry, Swiggins, I'm not with you right now. 
I have no HP with which to be with you. I am going to stay upstairs to defend, though, because it should be relatively safe to do so, and the wave will pull in very soon. I'm just worried about this Xenia more than anything else. Yeah, there we go. There's 1,038 HP I think I just picked up. That's not bad. Okay, bounce up here. Collect that. Okay, we are relatively happy in terms of our HP and everything else going on. You're toast. Like, sorry, but you're done. Swiggins, really good job, man. Like, see, if you're watching this right now, you are the reason why we're winning this. I am literally just providing support as far as a clunk can provide support, which is just, hey, I can be big, I can be stompy, I occasionally get the damage you need done, but more importantly, I can keep waves so clear that this is like the world's best summer weather forecast, okay? Nothing hit there, that's okay, backing off. Oh, God. Um... Oh, Jesus. Nice kill, though. Very nice kill. We're going to go ahead and keep our HP up very high, thanks to Bite. Okay. I was going to say, if you would start getting in there with that kind of stuff, I'd be down, but... Ow! What a jerk. Okay, back down here. Hello. So, Deadlift is proving to be an issue. Oh, God. I found the entire enemy team, and it hurt a lot. And it hurt a lot. I backed off, though. I live. We got a kill! <laughs> the living part's the best part about all that. Alright, with that in mind... Let's see, how long does this apply for? So long as they're inside the thing. Okay, so we want that to apply for as long as possible. Reduces incoming damage while exploding by 50%. That sounds really good for us, actually. Uh, and we'll grab the last quick and cleaner upgrade. So what we've got right now, effectively, is a panic button. Our explode is now also a damage reduction. Okay, good job. Not sure how we got that one, but I'll take it. Swiggins, you're a beast. Okay, keep it easy. Keep it safe. Whoa! Hey there, buddy. Have a nice big shield bash. Poof, another bit of damage. Okay, get this off. Maybe. Oh, it's so close to getting the kill. That was actually dope as hell. Unfortunately, unable to land what we wanted to. That's okay. Grab these two things since it seems like the Swiggins... Ah, eh, only one of those things, it seems. But uh, grab at least one of those things so that we get the HP that you need. And by the way, the HP that we need... Not as big a problem anymore now that we do 482 damage to uh, Knots whenever we attack. Like, it's it's pretty dope. That teleport, by the way, was not only slightly bad-mannered, but also very well played. There we go. Look at that HP. I get 1,000 HP back every time I bite. It's pretty dope. Now, with this said... Okay, the explode landed, but at what incredible cost, really? Put this out there. It's another 200 or so damage. Another 304 damage over there. We need to save our Swiggins if we can manage. Okay, good stuff. Where's... Oh, God. Swiggins, please live. Okay, Ayla got that. That's good. We're about to have 1,000 HP back in our pocket. Perfect. Okay, that hurt. That, that did hurt. I will grant you that. However, if we land Bite, we're fine. So I'm still not worried. Oh, God. Deadlift. Look at him go. What a jackass. Still, good job, Ayla. Okay, so we got a Super Droid coming up top. Deadlift is still pushing down there. I kind of hate this, because Deadlift is just able to do that whenever he likes. He's protecting an entire droid wave for, like, next to nothing in terms of cost, and I kind of hate it. He also teleported home, so, like, there was no chance we were going to gank him. As soon as he saw the, the lane clear up, he was able to back off. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again right now, actually. This is something that Deadlift is quite good at doing. Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Get out of here. Also, we didn't take much damage from you, so whatever. Bounce upstairs. Thank you. There it is. Go up here. Hello. How's it going, you sack of garbage? Put out a couple more chunks of damage on this thing. Okay. You need to live, Ayla. Please survive. Oh, shit. I'm the last one alive, aren't I? Okay. Good land on that explode. Too bad it's not going to like keep you alive. The only thing that can keep you alive right now is a very good bite, and it wasn't enough. My two teammates dying there was hugely bad. Hugely, hugely bad. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Well, thermonuclear cleaner would be great. Uh, I think that just having pills, though, would be pretty sweet, too. So we'll grab that, and hopefully we will be able to, as a team, survive long enough to be able to bring this back. Because, currently, we've got an exposed core, if they're anywhere near intelligent. Um, their frog is probably the weakest part of their team right now. Their deadlift is easily the best part of their team. Uh, he's been playing exceptionally well the entire game. He's been always landing shields wherever it's most inconvenient for me. Um, to the point where, like... 
I know I don't want to buy Explode Damage, but I should anyway, just because, like, damage is always good anyhow, and just burning the shield is still an important thing to do once in a while. So Ayla's got the invisibility, that's nice. We're gonna go ahead and continue to clear out these lanes. We now do a lot of damage, which is good. Missed that, though. Back off, back off, back off, it's okay. Ah, uh, we need the Swiggins to land his shit, though. If he doesn't land his stuff, we're in trouble. That felt bad. I took a ton of damage and all that. I need to land a very good bite in order to stop that from being a problem. Perfect. Look at that. 1,200 HP. That's a good bite. Okay. Keep it up. Gotta remember, though, we do have a reducing incoming damage upgrade for our... Uh... Oh, that hit! There goes, like, a chunk of his shield. Too bad it's not enough of a chunk of his shield. Where's Ayla at? Ayla, be safe. Ayla, be safe. Okay. We managed to keep uh, Ayla alive. She's still kicking, which is important. Just stay safe, stay far away, and clear out this thing from a distance. Perfect. It's not even that difficult to do. Where's Swiggins at? Swiggins is okay, actually. We're going to go ahead and clear this out as well, because, I mean, they can get easy access to it whenever they want. This deadlift needs to die. That's the big thing. And that's very difficult to do, by the way. Um, if you don't know how hard it is to kill a deadlift, I suggest that you give it a shot yourself. But deadlift is almost impossible to kill if he's playing played right. Play it safe, guys. Oh, God. Team's about to die, isn't they? I should not be here. I should not be here. Where is our Ayla? Oh god, she is running for her life, and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, we need to back off. Swiggins! Swiggins! No! Time to run. Let's go. Time to run. Like, decent damage. Don't. I'm not knocking it. Oh god, I'm dead. Just going in. Like, I dealt enough damage to them that you should be able to back off safely. But Swiggins, when you, when you need to run, you need to run, dude. Okay, increases the base damage of exploding against enemy awesome mounts by 28%. It's important. We need it. We have more than enough HP. We got everything else going on for us, but we died there to protect a Swiggins. We need to make sure that this Ayla gets to her late game. And is she even going to be able to? She's got the right upgrades, guaranteed. More or less. But I'm just like a little... I'm a little worried? <laughs> is that fair? She's not seemingly doing enough yet. Uh, we lost our Swiggins and all that. That's bad. We're maybe about to lose our Ayla. No, Ayla's at half HP. She's able to survive this. She's surviving this. I'm gonna go upstairs and deal with uh, all this crap upstairs. Gotcha. It's enough damage. It's enough damage. Alright, keep clearing this out. Perfect. Dead droid wave is a good droid wave. Okay, I'll let the Ayla continue to do that. I'm going to continue doing what my job is, which is just clear out every single droid that there is on the map. Excellent kill by the Ayla. Okay. So this is about to be the thing. This is going to make things much more interesting. Try me. I can explode like that all freaking day and not be upset. And he knows that I can lunge him for an eternity and it won't matter. Like, he knows this. Okay, put out the damage. You know it's good. Oh my god, no! Okay. Hold on. We're taking a ton of work here. Oh god. Just teleport home at this point. That sucked. That sucked. We're now on our own. Our team got a little bit too crazy. They need to... Hopefully they push top. Because it's the far more easy one to, to, like, to ambush. But I don't think it's going to happen. This team needs to... Like really ship shape. Okay, decent damage. We almost got a kill up there. It wasn't enough, though. Okay, bounce upstairs. Grab this. Thank you. Good little bite there. It's going to be very nice for us. We're going to go downstairs. And the turret is probably dead, though not necessarily. It is 100% dead now. That sucks. Got one. It's just the frog, though. The frog does not matter, unfortunately. It's weird to say that, but yeah, the frog really doesn't matter in this case. It's honestly all the deadlift. It's entirely the deadlift. But hey, you know what? There's still a chance. Okay, that missed. That's okay. I'll be back in a little bit. I was expecting the Xenia to be a bit more aggressive. I'm glued. You know, I'm I shouldn't be surprised that they weren't. Perfect. We can clear out droidways really, really quickly. I, uh, that's never gonna be the issue with our team. Kinda looking around for this uh, Xenia wherever she is with the Oh god, that lunge. 
is actually insanely cool. Go for it. That was a huge amount of damage. Get the bite off. It worked! Oh, nobody! That was a missile damage. Okay, backing off. Sorry, team. You're on your own for like a minute. I had less than like 200 HP. Oh, Jesus. We landed a good explode, though. That was an excellent counter initiation explode, which is what we're aiming to do. Uh, Ayla, please live. Ayla, please live. Ayla, please live. Ayla lives. Not sure what she's going to expect to do with all that, but... Uh-oh. 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 Okay, we kind of did something to the deadlift. We're going to go ahead and push this out as much as we can. That's now pushed out lane. Fizzbop has died. That stinks. That's another 300 damage for free. Boink. Didn't quite land that. Sucks. Okay. Damn it, I'm dead. Never mind, he's dead. Get this bite, get this bite. Thank you. There, the bite. The bite is mine. Oh my god, bite damage is so good. <laughs> We are alive, by the grace of luck. If we had been better, we would have gotten another kill on the frog, too. But, um, I was so focused on just, like, not dying that I forgot what it's like to win. Wow, a tickle. That's all I asked for. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Bouncing back upstairs. How's our team looking? A little worse for wear. Okay, back off. That's right. Y'all back off. I've got 400 damage missiles, man. You don't know what it's like. I have nukes attached to my left click button. And they're consistent. And they have a very low cooldown. So don't mess. So we have 400 or so solar that we are not currently really in the process of spending. Because um, we're maxed out already. That's no good. I know you're asking for help, buddy. But like, I'm clearing out droid waves. So, like... Take it easy. Um, you need to survive. Perfect. That missed. We're not going to get any kills without that explode. Perfect. That's done. Invis is up. It is no longer up. That missed. I'm disappointed. Ayla's in there? What are you doing in there? Baby! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! I was promised... Cheese. Gotcha. Get this HP then. Holy crap, we're alive. And we're doing well. Hold on. Get the HP, I need to survive everything. That almost worked out beautifully. Okay, grabbing this. Easy wins. On those droids anyway. Okay, that's bad. The frog getting a kill there is terrible. That missed? I'm upset. Ayla, you're gonna get yourself killed. Or worse, ganked. And then killed. Please survive. I will help counter whatever's coming your way just by backing off. But we need to run now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ayla's super dead. Just keep tossing this out, hoping it hits hard enough. Just hoping it hits hard enough. At the moment, it will not. At the moment, it will definitely not hit hard enough. So where's this deadlift going? Is he going to our core? He absolutely is. Okay, he backed off. That was probably smart. It ate up a cooldown. No problem. That it missed. That feels bad. Okay, I'm going to go over here instead. Make sure that they don't get every access into our base. That's super important. Swiggins, be safe, please. I need you to be safe. I need you to be safe because I can't count on the Ayla to be safe, okay? Okay, good. I'm glad that we had this chat. Excuse me. Could you die? Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, no. Hey. No! Y'all back off! See, I don't even take damage from my own explodes, really. It, it's it's a button I can just push when I want, but... Point. There we go. Base. I smell a deadlift. Nope. That's just an ally who's dying. And now a deadlift is going for something. Yep, core. He's going for the core. Okay, that's bad. Maybe we can kill the deadlift. We'll be a little bit better off, but I'm not sure how we're going to kill the deadlift. He's just going to teleport home right now. Yep, there it is. The teleport. What a what a little bit of chip, little bit of chip damage. It's well played. It's very well played. I wish I was half that fast and half that survivable as a character, but no dice, huh? So they got invisibility on at least one character, maybe even two. We're not gonna let them take our creeps. End of story. Now we have the ability to push from a distance. This is where this comes into play in a big way. 
Because although my attack speed's not great, every shot that lands is hundreds of points of damage. Like, every shot that lands is very good for us. Oh, my lord. Need to land the bite. The bite landed. Now, Ayla, save me! Oh, game over. So, we lost. Uh, we lost in large part because our Ayla could not pull off what Ayla needed to do uh, as a character. Wrong place, wrong time a lot of the time. Swiggins did such an excellent job. I'm not gonna lie. Like, really good work. And if we had been a stronger clunk, like, you know, with more confidence, able to go for the explode route, maybe we would have gotten more kills. But against this team, I think it would have been very difficult. As the deadlift proved, it is insanely hard to get a good explode on a good deadlift. I mean... It doesn't look like much, but he carried their team hard. And you can tell again because of the experience. And you can tell that our team lagged a lot, again, because of the experience. It really was a tough game for Anela, uh, absolutely. But, yeah, that that's where our weak point was this game uh, as a team. On a me side of things, I think that our build worked out exactly the way that it needed to. Without me, the team would have been overrun ages ago. We had enough droid kills, enough creep kills, that we kept both lanes clear pretty much 100% of the time. Um, hell, we almost, like, we got, like, we had almost twice as many kills as some of them at some, as, uh, some of the other team, uh, team players at, at some point. In fact, b neither of my two teammates have half as many <laughs> droid kills as I do. So, like, here's the thing, right? When you've got this situation where you've got, like, two people that are terrible at pushing, this kind of build does the trick, but it does rely on the other two team members doing a bit more of what they need to do. And in this case, it wasn't going to happen. Deadlift was way too strong a player, and Xenia is a better assassin than Ayla is under most circumstances, unless if Ayla is being played by an exceptionally good player. For now, that's, though, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for, uh, you know, notifications when these videos go live. But that's it for me. I'll see you folks next time.